So I wanted to make a song that, you know, people can, they can rock to, vibe to, and have a lot of truth to it as well. And also encourage people, you know, to uh, vote for Donald Trump. And uh, I wanted, like, like I said, like, I'm, uh, I do music, so um, I, I wanted to use my music a as a tool to help, you know, with, uh, with the re-election of uh, President Trump. Men say, walk away from the Democrat party. With those days are done, you still picking cotton in the sun. Get the hell up off of that plantation, bro. I'ma need you to run. Run. God gifted me lyrical, fighting battles in the spirit show. Yeah. Doing miracles in the physical, setting fire to the liberals. So I was funded Antifa, Antifa and other terror groups in America. Google Black, listen, we the people. We the people. Put a shadow band in us, patriots. Yeah. Hey, everybody, my name is Kyle, and this is the Conservative Take. This is your first time here. Please consider hitting that like and subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss any future content. That song you just heard was called Vote Trump 2020, and it's by Omar Shabazz. And I have him on the line right here. This is a sharp dude. He's got 80,000 subscribers on Twitter. Phenomenal. He's got 35,000 growing subscribers, followers on Parler. He's got a YouTube channel. He's dynamic. And I tell you, this guy is fantastic. You're going to love him. Omar, tell everybody how you're doing today. Doing pretty good. Thanks for having me, brother, on the show. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. That song we just played there, Vote Trump 2020, is that right? That Absolutely. Yeah, Vote Trump 2020. Tell me about that. How did that song come about? Well, um, I put that song together. Uh, you know, uh, I wanted to express my my support for uh for donald trump you know so i wanted to make a song that you know people can they can rock to vibe to and have a lot of truth to it as well and also encourage people you know to uh vote for donald trump you know i wanted like like i said like i'm uh i do music so um i, I wanted to use my music a as a tool to help you know with uh with the re-election of uh, president trump that's fantastic and a lot of people in this channel don't have a hip-hop um vibe in this channel I, just from demographics i'm getting from the youtube analytics so so this is going to be a new to these people to people on this channel but i think it's important to understand that we are we all are human and we have different interests and i used to really be into this type, type of music but now i'm older now i'm an old head i'm i'm kind of stuck in the <laughs> i'm stuck in the day man so i feel i feel aged but i tell you your, your song really had me moving in my seat as i was going through it and the lyrics are so powerful um Tell me about the lyrics. I mean, how are you able to come up with the lyrics for these for these songs? Well, uh, a lot of times before I put songs together, uh, I like to do you know research. So I want to make sure what I'm talking about is is truth. You know, I don't want to just put anything together. You know, I mean, I can go in the studio and and put anything together, but uh, you know, I, I wanted to really uh, you know um, speak truth in these songs. So I, I did my research. You know, I put it together. You know. Uh, Went in the studio, you know, and did my thing, man. And so your studio, you've done this um, for a while, I hear, right? You've done recording, right? I've been, I've been, I've been doing music for about, say, about maybe maybe ten years, ten years probably. Wow. Well, I, I played in a band for about three years, and I understand how difficult it is to do mixing, and that's just a, a lot of it was just acoustic. You know, you're dealing with a lot more sophistication and harmonies and stuff like that with the how that plays together. And I just find it really cool how you're able to get all those sounds together and make them sound so, so fresh and so polished. It's almost as if it came right out of, you know, just out of, you know, what you hear the radio. It's really, 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 you, you have a talent, my friend. Oh, thank you, brother. Uh, I got a couple of guys that helped me, you know, with the mixing and stuff uh, that, that really, you know, helped me out. So. So, um, so, so tell me, we talked a little bit about this. Uh, tell me about your Twitter following. I, I'm, I'm curious. I want the audience to hear about this. Tell me about what's going on with you and Twitter. Well, uh, Twitter, I, actually, I'm being, I'm being shadow banned on Twitter. Uh, um, right now I'm at 81,000, but you know, I was, I was uh, a few months back. I was growing. I was getting, I was getting a lot of followers, you know, maybe two or 3,000 a day. And all of a sudden it just stopped. And, um, and I, I feel like the owner of Twitter is shadow banning me because of my support for the president. And also I support uh, Laura Luma. I push a lot of her content, you know, on my page. And, um, and you know, the owner, Jack Dorsey, he, he basically, uh, he, he, uh, he, uh, 
he deleted Laura Luma's account from off Twitter, you know, and um, and I've been pushing her stuff hard on Twitter, and I begin I begin shadow ban. If I retweet anything, I barely get a retweet, you know, barely. The, uh, I, I get a little stuff moving. That's when I, you know, I, uh, DM some of my, my friends on Twitter and they retweet it for me. But other than that, I, I, re, I, barely, I barely get retweets. And it's crazy. <laughs> it's that, crazy. that really, ang- oh my gosh, that angers me so much. Yeah, Laura yeah. Loomer, yeah, she actually retweeted you and she supports you. I see that on, I said, oh, that's Laura. She's like, uh, she's um, echoing his uh, his stuff. I'm like, that's pretty cool. So I was like, I was wondering if <laughs> that one's been. So yeah, she, 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 she's good and she is fearless, man. She is, I've yeah, been following her for awesome three lady. years now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you met her? Have you met her yet? Not not yet, but uh, I, w- I would love to meet, meet Laura Lumber. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure she would be. I've never met her either, but uh, I saw her stuff way back like three years ago when it was just getting kicked up. Her and Milo were out there and they were really on the forefront of of, uh, of dropping truth, man. And uh, yeah, she's uh, she's she's awesome. So so yeah, man. So um, let me ask you this question here. Um, so with this whole COVID lockdown, is that something that's actually um, causing you more creativity time or is it allowing you to spend time with the family or how's that playing with your life now? Yes, it's definitely allowed me to spend more time with the family. And as far as creativity, yes, uh, more creative, man. Got more time, you know, in the studio. Got more time to think, you know, put stuff together. So, you know, it's a bad thing, you know, the country on um, the lockdown situation. But at the same time, it's a good thing as far as, you know, building, building up your relationship with your family and spending more time, you know, with the family, whatever. So, yeah, I want to I want to um, I, I totally agree. The, uh, the black family, the nuclear family is something that's really important. Uh, uh, and so I think that's one of the things about the lockdown that, that's good that some people say is bad, but it allows us to you know, at least appreciate the things we may have taken taken for granted, you know, Absolutely. Like particularly family. So um, I want to talk about Black Lives Matter a little bit, but I want to talk about a little bit first. This song here that I heard called I Donald Trump. What is going on with this song? This song is phenomenal. Uh, I'm going to play a little clip of that real quickly. I don't. I want you to come back after the break, and I want you to talk about this song called I, Donald Trump. All right? Check this out. I'm going to tell you, some of y'all going to love me, some of y'all going to hate me. What's real, real? I ain't scared of you. I'm Donald Trump in this game. Came in with my own friend. I don't care about the fame. Shut down Planned Parenthood because they sacrificing the children. You should be pushing all lives matter. That's the appropriate Dude, that's awesome. So I, I tell you, that's um talk to me about this song. What does this song mean to you? When did you write it? What was the inspiration? Well, this song, I put this song together. Um, this was around the time where that Donald Trump, he was getting a lot of back- backlash from uh, you know, celebrities. I'm talking about all the top celebrities, Jay-Z, uh, Eminem, uh, T.I. Snoop Dogg, like they, they always going in on the president, man. And um, and I just feel like you know Donald Trump, he, he's a real person. Like he's not a, a like a politician, you know. He's, he's a real person. Like he he speaks his mind. Like we never really had a person like that, you know, uh, in office. So I put this song together, you know, expressing my feelings on how I felt, you know, about what was going on. And uh, and uh, like I said, man, I I just felt like um, I feel like I had to do something, man. So. I wrote that song, I Donald Trump, expressing my feelings, how I felt. And I mean, I put a lot of feelings to that song, you know, and um, I put it together, man. I mean, it, it came out, it came out great. Like a, a lot of people, they, they really like that song, you know, and they have a lot of truth in it. You know, it, it's talking about, you know, uh, the chemtrails, it's talking about, you know, they poisoning our water, our food. Uh, it's talking about, uh, you know, vaccinations, man. Like a lot of stuff, man, it's deep. Um, you see Bill Gates, he's trying to get everyone vaccinated. Look what he did to, uh, you know, Africa, you know. So it, it has a lot of truth in that song, man. And um, it, it's real deep. And I bet the audience members didn't have any idea that hip hop music had that kind of depth in it. In fact, hip hop music has always had more depth than your average song because Absolutely. it's about real life stuff, consequences uh, and all that stuff. 
And when you focus it on things that are true, even more true, then it really gets like that. And so I want to, the point I want to make here is, is that you're, you're not just making this stuff up. You actually have to read some books. You have to, you know, watch some, some lectures. You have to kind of think. <laughs> and Absolutely. so, and so talk, talk to me about how, what, what preparation you go into to make a, to make a song. Wow. Well, um, I, I do research, man. Um, you know, I do research on the internet, you know, I go through books, um, you know, a lot of stuff, man. Uh, and I, I, and also, I wanted to say that I, I want to give a shout out to uh, Alex Jones because I, I used to watch the Alex Jones show a lot, and uh, I learned a lot from Alex Jones. You know, uh, Infowars man, they they that's some great people over there. So uh, my wife loved. Alex I, Jones. I learned some stuff from them. You know, <laughs> my wife loves Alex Jones, and when he went down, that was that was a a tragedy, a, tra a travesty. Yeah, man, I, I feel so bad that uh, that they did that to Alex, yo. So. So let's um, let me move along, along here. I got so much to say here, but I want to just be, be respectful for your time. I want to talk about a little bit about Black Lives Matter. Tell me about okay. Black. I mean, because like, there's the I, I say on this the, the, the official position on this channel is that obviously Black Lives Matter. I mean, I am mm -hmm. one, right? But the movement, wherever it started, it is not what it is now. That has been hijacked by groups of people that hate this country. And want to use that because they can't get a following on their own to co-opt the movement to do whatever. So, do you see people in the black community? Do you see they? Do you think people see that, or are they still going off the 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 marketing side of it? Um, I think I think some a lot of people don't see well, what's going on behind the scenes. Like I, some people, um, they looking at it as it's a good thing, you know, it's supporting you know black lives, but uh, you know, uh, but behind, like behind the scenes, like you got. People like George Soros, you got the Democrats that's funding Black Lives Matter in Antifa, and they want to actually destroy the country. George Soros, he has a history of destroying countries, and he's funding Black Lives Matter. I mean, come on, man. Like, they want America destroyed. Yeah, there's um, Act Blue. Are you familiar with them? Uh, Act Blue is a, um, it's a, I guess, it's a political action committee. But it funnels money to candidates. It happened in 2018, and uh, but but Act Blue is a major contributor to uh, Black Lives Matter, and it goes right through the Democrat uh, machine. So, wow. yeah, it's uh, you can look wow. up look up Act Blue on your on your spare time if you have any. I <laughs> know you're a busy man. Oh yeah, oh I'm definitely gonna look them up. So um so okay, I, I don't want to keep you long. I, I want to ask you a few more questions. I want to um, have you pick a song at the end, and then we'll and we'll get your take on that. But uh, let's um. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the black community. Let's talk about black conservatives, because mm -hmm. one thing that I've said uh, before on this channel and people say, because I'm black, Kyle, you just said it because you're black. Well, no, I'm, the black, con the black conservative is the, I don't say the only person, but probably the, one of the few people in this country who can save this country. And the reason why I say that is because of this cancel culture thing going on, that if you're white, you can't say something. If you're a woman, you can't speak on this. If you're a white woman, you can't speak on this behalf. You're a Karen or this and that. But if you're black conservatives, the most they can tell you is you're a coon or Uncle Tom. And so what's your take on black conservatives and, and our importance? And are you seeing more people come up that are black and are conservative? Uh, absolutely. Uh, a lot of people, you know, I see around that's, uh, you know, that, that's conservative. And um, uh, yeah, and it's important, you know, for uh, for black conservatives, you know, to to stand up and not be afraid, you know, to speak up, you know, um, and this, uh, council, council culture thing that's going on. I would say, man, uh, I, I would just ignore it. You know, the council, like, can't nobody cancel me. If, if I don't participate, you know, in that movement, they can't cancel me, man. Cause they can say whatever they want. It, it don't affect me. I'm, I'm going to still be me. I'm going to still speak, you know, truth. And, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue doing what I do because like I said, like, um, I don't, I don't, I don't do this for a living. You know, I, I don't get paid, you know, for this, this stuff that this music stuff that I put out. So I don't care. They can say whatever I'm going to continue, you know, to push <laughs> and and speak truth, man. Um, so like I said, they, they can't counsel me, you know? Mm -mm. So I got to ask this question. I got to ask the question that people want to hear on this, on this channel. And I, if, if I sound pejorative or if I sound, um, <laughs> if I sound crazy, if I sound stupid, let me know. How did you get to where you are right now? I mean, it's got to be a. Re I mean, did you did you just wake up and say, 
I am this sharp dude that I figured this stuff out or because for me personally, I was a total idiot. You know, I don't have mentioned this before, but I was involved in a lot of different things in college, African fraternities, and I was involved in, I think I mentioned this before with a mayor, Mary and Barry and stuff. And mm -hmm. I just had to have a tragedy at 9-11 wake me up. But for yourself, wow. is there, was there a moment at all? Or is it just something you just, you just kind of just figured it because you're just, you just, you know, you got it like that. Well, I mean, um, I always been, you know, woke. I was always been woke, but uh, but like I said, man, I, Alex Jones really, he really helped me take it to that next level just by listening okay. to his show, man, and you know, right. do, and start doing my own research. It really, you know, woke me up, you know. And then from that point on, you know, I started getting more deeper, you know, getting more more deeper and doing doing my own research. And um, and then this MAGA movement, you know, it's so many uh awesome people out here. It's so many people like that, you know, that 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 support you. And um and it's a lot of love in the in Maga the Maga uh, community, man. And um that 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 keeps me going, you know. Like I, I, all all the friends out there, man, they they keep me going, you know. And um that 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 really, you know, it's like it's, it's like a it's like a torch, man. It just it's, it's just keep burning and, it's, and it keep growing, you know. It's funny. I feel the exact same way. I cause it's easy to get down in this community. Um, Talk to me briefly about your family, your friends, and how we talked about this off camera, but tell me about friends and family and how respect comes into play when it comes to having a disagreement, especially in the black community. Well, uh, um, as far as like, um, you know, family members, I got some family members that, that, that support what I'm doing and some of them, they don't support what I'm doing. Some of them like Trump and some of them don't. Um, but you know, I mean, we, we, we even have arguments, you know, but uh, at the end of the day, it, it's all about respect. You know, like you, you don't have to like me from, you know, uh, you know, from my, my point of views and my standpoints, whatever, my conservative point of view. You don't have to like me. But if you, you know, long, as long as you respect me, you know, we cool. We can still, you know, hang out, whatever. It's, it's, it's just all about respect at the end of the day. You know, you don't have to be, uh, you know, Republican, uh, Trump supporter. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's about respecting each other as people, you know, at the end of the day. Yeah, I, I mentioned to you also off camera that it's a situation like this. People who don't understand what we're saying is if you have a guy named Johnny who's at the office, he came in late to work. And his boss is a white man comes and says, Johnny, why are you late? Why are you late? Johnny doesn't care about him being late. Johnny cares about how he's being spoken to. And that has to do with respect. And that's a really important thing in the black community. I, I mean, I, I can say that personally. I just know that that's just that's just the way it is. That's just how Absolutely. we roll. So um, and I think once people understand that you care for them, it, it's the sky's the limit. We don't care what color you are at that point, you know. Right. And so I think that's what people need to understand. It's about respect. And I, I think the black community has that force so much more than I would say some of these white liberals that I'm seeing on, on the Internet. And I don't want to generalize. I say that it sounds bad, but I don't you know, I, I just don't see that there's a cultural difference there. And I think we have a lot going for us. And I said this before off camera that the black community, the black people have, have so much at stake in this country. We've been through so much through slavery, through the middle passage, coming over here, you know, integration, excelling at every single level. And this is our country and we should be proud of this country and should be fighting for this country like people like you. And when illegal immigrants come in, we should be like, look, that's not fair. You know, we, this is our country. You guys can get in the back of the line, come on board. Once you come in through the right way, it's, it's all above par and we're, we're locked arms together and we're doing this thing. And so I don't understand why the black community just can't get that. I think a lot of it's because we're overly emotional. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think, you know, a lot of guys are overly emotionally, you know, emotional about, you know, situation. Like it's, it's sensitive, like, you know, uh, like, uh, like black people get real sensitive like, when it comes to, you know, racism and stuff. And, that plays a big part of these people I have on the streets acting out, you know. Um, and uh, I mean, like, uh, I feel like some, some people, you know, need to be, you know, uh, I would say educated on on certain subjects, you know, like like all lives matter. Like, we're, we're not saying, you know, black lives don't matter, whatever. We're saying all lives matter, period. Like, all lives matter, you know, uh, it, it it helps eliminate the racial tension that's going on. If I, if I walk around just saying black lives matter, it's like, and like you know, my white friends, and they're like, "Hey, what? What about my life? You know, do my life yeah. matter? You know, do 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 police's life matter? Do Latino lives matter? Like, it causes racial tension. You know, like it's all lives matter. Like that's the organic way. When God said it, all man is created equally, all lives matter. You know, 
it's, it's the same thing. Like that's how I feel. I will always stand on that. You know. That's wonderful. That's yeah. You're you're going places, my friend. I, you really are. I, I love that. Um, thank you so much for for spending time with me today and my audience. And uh, oh, you're gonna get for having uh, me, brother. Uh, oh, you, uh, 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 the pleasure's all on this side of the microphone. Um, let me just say this. So all of the content of the songs that are being played and the clips before and the one song we're going to play next, I want you to go into the description below. I'll leave some titling below here. Go check mm -hmm. out Omar's page. Go check out whatever I links I put in there. I'm going to put as much as I can find in there. <laughs> go check them all out. Subscribe to all of them. Give them some love. Write Twitter and say, why is he being shadow banned? Whatever you need to do, just support this brother. I'll send him some money. You know, do what you got to do. And uh, we'll have him back on here. And so, um, yeah, I just really, really impressed with everything about you. It's, it's just, it's just utterly phenomenal. I am so much more hopeful in the future, knowing that this generation is coming behind us. I really, I really do. I really feel that Absolutely. way because I think I feel, I feel you like this, this the, uh, the F twenty two Raptor. It's a, it's a fifth generation fighter jet that has the capabilities of like thirty or forty planes in and of itself. So we'll need a lot of us. We just need a few, and we can take the job of many. So I just Absolutely. made it up. I'll be like that. I just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, brother. You anyway, got so, that. so you, you sent me some songs over. Is there a song you want to kind of go out with? And when we come back, I have them. I have you share how we can uh, follow you and have you give your closing uh, your closing remarks. Or do you have a song in mind that you want to play? Um, I have a song that I just uh, recently released. It's called uh, "Our Lives Matter." Um, it's featuring my friend uh, Sabrina ba Byron. I hope I said that right. Byron Baron. Um, it's called All Lives Matter. That, that that's a pretty pretty good song. We just we just recently uh, released that. Okay, so everybody, this is um, All Lives Matter from Omar Shabazz. Have you ever seen Black Lives Matter protest Chicago killers? They do it to find the two facts, blacks like an oil dealer. They only show up to stir up racial tension. Go bigger. If we defund the police, our problems get bigger. When I say all lives matter, you seem to be offended. How can we end racism if your terminology extends? What about all the babies being aborted? Do their lives matter? Do Joy Floyd blood by victims? Do gay matter? Do blue lives matter? Do Trump supporters matter? Joe Biden have right to crime being targeted blacks? Do those facts matter? How come you don't speak on the sex trafficking? To a bad to sheep. Instead, drugs, money, your murder, you overly proceed to preach. It's not your choice who my voice reach. I only want peace, spreading awareness on these violent streets who support me. I don't even know what's happening to the youth. Lies in the media, they ain't telling the truth. Cause all All right, we're back. So, so tell me a little about that song. How did that come about? And uh, tell me about your your, your co partner there. What what her part was? Oh well, um, I met Sabrina on uh, on Instagram. You know, she, she's a, a a country singer, and she was making video, and I was listening to her. Saying, I said, "Wow, she got a nice voice." And she actually uh, she um, she did a post on Instagram, and she was using my song uh, "I Down a Trump." And she sent it to me. I was like, wow, like, wow, she loved my, she liked my song. I'm like, wow, that's cool. And um, I was like, well, I should do, we should do a song together, you know? So I reached out to her and, um, and um, you know, and at the same time, you know, all this racist bull crap is going on, you know, Black Lives Matter. I said, man, we, I didn't make a song for All Lives Matter. And we got together, man, and we put it together and it, and it came out great. Wonderful. That's one, that's, you have a, a country singer and a, and a hip hop artist coming together and that, that happens a lot more because really um, country music comes out of um, comes out of black music really comes out of the the uh, the, the, the Negro spirituals really um, actually a lot of American music came out of the Negro spirituals and it evolved into jazz and other things but so there is that there is that off tempo um, uh, uh, swing beat that that goes with country and goes with hip-hop so I don't know how that applies here but I'm getting too technical but the fact is, my point is, we can collaborate. We can come together. This is a melting pot for a reason. So, Absolutely. so my friend, how can people find you on the internet or wherever you want to be found? Um, they can go to my website. It's omarshabazz.com. That's O-M-A-R-R-S-H-A-B-A-Z-Z.com. 
And you can find me on Twitter at Omar Shabazz uh, Parlor. Same thing at Instagram. It's all Omar, at Omar Shabazz. Okay. Awesome. And all those links, again, are below. Again, I'll say it again. Go check them out and subscribe to everything and send them some money, some love. Whatever you want to do, some prayers. Prayers is probably the most important thing you can probably send uh, anybody that I bring on the show because God is the abundance of all that. So so I, I just don't know how to end this without um, just pouring out my gratitude to you and my pride of calling myself, I call you my friend because we just met, but I consider you a friend and I just think it's so wonderful. Thanks, bro. So, thank you so much. Nice, nice meeting you too, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I get choked up, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people get choked up, but uh, it just makes me feel proud. I really do. Um, so with that, everybody, that's this is Omar, and uh, check him out. And hopefully, we get him back on the show. And um, with that, if you like what we do on this channel, where we take culture, TV, and movies, and we filter your rights, and sometimes politics, and sometimes hip hop. Um, please click the like and subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss any future content because we're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers. And with that, please check out some content that we have right here. <laughs>